So I'm watching this interview because it talks about Marilyn Manson <clears throat> and his recruitment by the CIA. And it says a lot of interesting things. I recommend the video, actually. Um, he talks about his 2017 album having disruptive binaural beats in it, <clears throat> which change your brain chemistry. And um, they were asking him questions about Columbine, which we know to be a CIA MK Ultra. Uh, quote unquote lone wolf uh, operation psyop because it's not actually a lone wolf it's many people who are assassins who who uh, partake in these missions so I just wanted to play it here because they're asking him about Columbine Marilyn Manson got blamed quote unquote for Columbine because of <clears throat> the trench coats so here we go there are, I mean, it's easy to forget just how much controversy that was generated by you in the nineties, especially on on this side of the Atlantic. But all that controversy was you know, was magnified tenfold when Columbine happened. Yeah. Because it, you know it was wrongly reported at the time that the the two guys were. I was what I, I watched it live on TV, and I was watching it live, and they said there were five boys dressed in Marilyn Manson costumes. And then it was three, and then it was two. I was watching it live. I was in, I remember the day it was in Chicago, and I would tell them, "This going, I know I'm going to get blamed for this." And I don't know why, because I, then I should see my face come up like I'm was responsible when they weren't fans. You know, like, how was that for you? Um, uh, at first, because of all of the bomb threats and death threats. Every day I learned that uh, bomb dogs and drug dogs are the same. So that's an inconvenience. I'm thinking about adopting a, uh, a drug dog sniffer to look for bombs, not for drugs, I swear. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, but it, I always revert to sarcasm when you ask me a serious question because it, it, was, a, it was a tough time where I just really had, so this, everything was going right. I just had it all ripped out from under me. So I started cry baby about it. I just, I, I, did, I refused to do any interviews about it. I came out with a statement. I had my shaved head and a gun and a rifle in my hand. It was my father's rifle from Vietnam. And I wrote an essay for Rolling Stone that Jan Leonard um, invited me to write. <clears throat> And I think that was the best way I could say something because obviously, you know, from being in journalism, that's, you know, anything you say, people will take little pieces out of. And me being a former journalist also, I also know how to construct sentences in the way that they can't be taken out of context. That's also probably why the CIA wanted to recruit me when I was a younger child, my father told me before he passed. The CIA wanted to recruit you? He said something along those lines. He said he'd try to protect me from them because I think that he was um, somehow involved in Vietnam with uh, covert operations that I'm probably not even supposed to know about. So he never told me about it until he was you know, very ill at the end. It's one of the passing things he says he was the CIA tried to recruit you and like, try to keep you away from it. Yeah, for the most part. Notice that he's also implying that the CIA made his father very ill. There is an underlying current that he's implying that. Party said because of my ability to understand language and count the amount of things in a room before you, you know, you get a chance to. It's I guess it's some form of highly functioning autism. If I were to be diagnosed, which I don't know if you can diagnose that. So. Also, these traits are usually. Uh, in children who have been severely abused when they are young, especially at the ages of two and three, and then again at seven and nine, or between those ages, between two and three, and between seven and nine. So <clears throat> at those two uh, age ranges, that seems to be the one two punch of assurance that someone is going to be uh, a, a candidate for MK Ultra. Uh, and usually it gives them uh, special abilities. Sometimes I see things that I don't need to see or remember things that I don't need to remember. I don't really 
really know the words that you could want to describe it, but I think I'm really. He's talking about his experiences in MK Ultra, where they try to mind wipe you, but then you start to remember. This is pretty intense that he's admitting this. So we can see why he was such a disconnected teenager then, and why he <clears throat> was used in the way he was used. Uh, and just so you know, um, the CIA doesn't uh, go after people and not get who they want. Um, and you don't, they pretty much force you, force you in. I know this to be true. I had CIA in my family directly. My mother's boss, uh, Ray Favalora, was also CIA. So, yeah, let's continue. I don't remembering his names for some reason. I forgot all your names, but I remember how many people were in the room. No, it was just... That's my one difficulty because I want to meet someone. I look into their eyes and I see something about them. Going back to Columbine, though, that was such a it's, a... it's a huge thing to go through. You clearly were at the center of all this controversy, but you haven't shied away from that controversy ever since. Just a, a few weeks ago, you go out on stage and point to what looks like an automatic rifle yeah. and a crowd in front of you. Yeah. Well, I also have... I am feeling like <clears throat> this 2017 album, uh, Heaven Upside Down, of course, this is the goal uh, of the Sabbatean Kabbalists, uh, is to bring heaven to earth by being the most vile. In other words, bringing hell to earth in order to bring heaven to earth. Uh, so that makes sense in order of saying that. Earlier in this interview, he also talks about three Jewish girls uh, being used to chant in his video. And uh, so we do have, you know, some interesting things here. And then he talks about the binaural beats and how they're disruptive and they can be used to change your brain chemistry. <clears throat> And then he also talks about being shocked about the fact that uh, he was able to do the video before the elections with a severed head that looked like, uh, well, it was a body with a red, um, a red tie meant to sort of hypnotically induce uh, the image of it being Trump. And then here he talks about holding an automatic weapon. It seems like uh, this album is definitely there to program people to turn into these MK Ultra quote unquote lone wolf shooters that they then use to uh, create shootings. And then they also have assassins that will then create mass, ca mass casualty in those shootings. And this is done for many reasons, not just to change the laws, uh, but to create fear <clears throat> and to uh, create sacrifice because they are doing uh, what most people would call occult magic. Uh, I prefer to call it lower dimensional portal physics, um, you know, because people want to put all these religious connotations on it. And, um, you know, just because one religion calls it knows about it or calls it this or that if you choose that terminology then people want to go to the religion that talks about that terminology in order to uh try to uh balance things and that doesn't necessarily work because <clears throat> the religions have pieces and they're all separated within the different religions so we need to kind of move above that and see this as actual sciences of dimensional portaling and uh energy consumption energy modulation and then we also need to learn the energy of infinity, zero point energy, unconditional love, life, all the same thing. Um, that is very important, fractality in that. And how unity <clears throat> is key to that and not separation. So that's going to be a way we can uh, unify any frequencies that are trying to disrupt. So let's continue. I had two large guns fall on me and break my leg. That were stage props as well. So I guess, you know... Ah, yes, this is something else as well. Uh, anytime magic is performed, there is a sacrifice. And usually you want to create a self-sacrifice. You know, you choose the sacrifice yourself. Um, and you want it to be for ben something beneficial. You know, like giving up something unhealthy or something of that sort in order to, to manifest something better. 
But in these situations, uh, they are using hypnotic ritual magic to manifest negative events. And this is the CIA. And I know this kind of stuff directly <clears throat> because, like I said, of my family involvement. So this is... Uh, when you are using portal physics, you want to create what's called a lens within a lens within a lens. And that's what I'm doing with this video, actually, because he talks about how people uh, take snippets of what he's saying. And I'm actually doing that. So it's kind of interesting. And he talks about how that is why the CIA was trying to recruit him. Uh, and so I'm breaking that down. <clears throat> so and a lens within a lens within a lens, what that does is creates a magnification such that your will makes man becomes manifest, will make manifest. And uh, that's what Hollywood does. Because if you think about it, these people are acting, pretending to be someone else. That's a lens within a lens. And then they are being filmed on a lens, which is being watched by a person's eye directly who's in the studio. That's a lens. And then they're broadcasting that out <clears throat> in waves, frequencies, energy to all of the televisions, liquid crystal screens and plasma screens. This is portal physics here. And then you are watching that with your lenses. So, uh, and you're interpreting that with your mind, which is also another lens. So the fractality of things helps to manifest them. And he got hurt because he was doing a ceremony and that if you have negative intention, that comes back onto you. The sacrifice. It, maybe it's the universe paying me back and in, in reverse. I'm oh, not yes, sure. The universe paying you back. But uh, <clears throat> I don't think that anyone felt that they were in danger and there were police there and the, the policeman had to offer me the gun. And, uh, obviously, it wasn't real. I don't think anyone thought it was real. Just like when Alice Cooper was beheaded on stage. No one thought that was real. This is subliminal and they're also, what they're doing is they're desensitizing you so that <clears throat> what you see in front of you, you disbelieve. And the truth is, this is a hologram. And <clears throat> everything is actually a metaphorical message to you. And that's important here. This is all about mind control and learning to control your own mind to harness infinity. And, you know, like, or, or so eating things with Bowie. You know, I'm excited to play Wembley. I, uh, there's a famous picture I love of Bowie. Holding uh, like a, a earth on his shoulders at Wembley, and that that makes me excited. It's a strange dream. That makes him excited. I can guarantee you, this has another uh, relation to the lens within a lens because Bowie holding the earth, it's like controlling the earth. It's a message, and then he's going to go there, and he's going to have his message, which is going to be. Um, fractally built upon the image of Bowie, especially now that he's created this video. So this is also a form of magic. He talks about his music being magic directly. He talks about that. I would definitely recommend you watching this video so that you can full video so you can understand, um, you know, what's going on and how they are using people to create these global rituals and manifest. And actually it's your destiny to manifest and not be subject to their will, but to create a global harmonic will that is best for us all. That's what, that's what I'm involved in. I had another day that he was dressed uh, like the video for Ashes to Ashes in the Perot outfit, the, the white French clown. And he was on roller skates and he was, had a broken mirror, and he was talking to me about the song Cracked Actor. It's a weird dream that I had driving in here. I was going underwater through the train. What do you think of I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I, I got to meet him once, and that was a great, a great moment in my life. So the broken mirror aspect, that has to do with MK Ultra, most definitely. It has to do with dissociative identity disorder. And the breaking of, you know, the personality into that. It's like when you look in the mirror, you'll see the many pieces of yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, the clown aspect, that is definitely used in programming. Um, it just depends on uh, what, what they're planning on using you for and your own bioplasmic uh, signature. 
um, th that is what determines, you know, which route they go in your programming. And it seems like with him, they use the clown programming. <clears throat> you can see he paints his face white. He has the red lipstick. Um, and it puts on the two different color eyes usually in a lot of cases and the eyeliner and stuff. So this is, it's clown programming. I read one quote about you uh, where you said, I'm, I'm, I'm a rock star, I'm not a celebrity. Mm. And yet, you're, like, you're, you're very named. Marilyn Barrett for Marilyn Monroe, Manson for Charles Manson. You know, that was a choice that made famous, notorious celebrities at the time of when you were born. Right. You're very, you're very big. All right, now let's get into that. <clears throat> Marilyn Monroe and Charles Manson, two notorious MK Ultra subjects. Marilyn Monroe <clears throat> was one of, not the, but one of the first, first MK Ultra victims. And yes, she was murdered. And you can look into that. And then, of course, Charles Manson was most definitely an MK Ultra victim and perpetrator as uh, he turned into a handler and was made to prostitute MK Ultra children here in Hollywood to the elite. So that's very telling. This is definitely all about MK Ultra. Being is, is about embracing celebrity, isn't it? Well, it was a commentary on the creation of celebrity. And so then it does sort of wrap itself into a snake eating its own tail in a way. But that was the... Ah, the snake eating its own tail. He also talks about earlier about time. And how, for him, time is not linear. It's cyclical. When you start to awaken to um, the other dimensions, which involves MK Ultra, because most of these people, um, this is involved with the secret space program, and we are used in, and I say we because I was involved in this as well, we are used in multidimensional situations uh, because they have our bioplasmic signature. And this is a term, you can go to the CIA.gov website and look up the, on the Freedom of Information Act page and look up the information on Project Stargate. And it talks directly about the pineal gland and about the bioplasma of a being and how that is used to create portals and to teleport. So that's what this is about. And uh, you can see here he talks about the Ouroboros. That's the snake eating its tail. And that has to do with these cycles repeating. And from that repetition, once you become conscious of it, you can then take infinity and grow. So this is also the lens within the lens within a lens. You know, the snake eating its tail creates a circle. That is the lens. And, of course, we have the information on the reptilians coming out. The root chakra, the representation of the root chakra energy and the sacral chakra, chakra energy and the solar plexus chakra energy uh, in disharmony and disproportionate to the higher energies. And, of course, the third eye is involved with the reptilians. Um, but their, their heart chakra is closed off. So that's what uh, the reptilian energy is representing. And that's what's involved very highly with this MK Ultra as well. If you think of like the Spartan lifestyle of how they torture the children to quote unquote make them better. I mean, initially it was more of a, an experiment for me just to see what people would think. Because I didn't even have music when I created the band. I just wrote the article about a band that didn't exist with music that didn't exist and people seemed interested in it. And it's the same cycle of things. I find that you can tell people a lot of things and convince them of a lot of things if you say it in the right way. And yes, you can see here, he's telling you, this is he's casting spells of manifestation. That's what's going on here. Which language some call it neurolinguistic programming. I myself am very good at neurolinguistic programming and I do this to deprogram limiting programs of disunity to create a situation of harmonic unity to where all individuations of infinity get the full expression of their will in cosmic harmony with all. And try to look good when you're saying it. <laughs> If you were starting about now, would you go and say no? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you mean today, yeah, it wouldn't. I don't. I think it was a strange phenomenon that people thought that I died when Charles Manson died. Did you get all of that? 
Yeah, there was a big, uh, uh, not from anyone that I know. Yeah. But I, I, I guess there was a big thing on Twitter and uh, in the American press. And I think I think he would have been really pissed off because uh, he was all about wanting to be famous for what what he was responsible for. Um, and I've never commented either way on it. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, MK Ultra subjects <clears throat> wanting the limelight. But I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. And this is not uh, an uncommon story. If you see them in the media, this is the story. MK Ultra. So, and it's not to demonize anyone, actually. That is not at all what I'm trying to do. Because the truth of the matter is, these experiences that we've been through have awakened us up in a way that allows us to then walk the cat backwards, as they say in the CIA, and unravel the cosmic yarn such, uh, such that we can then reweave the cosmic yarn properly. And that's what we're going to do. That's what, you know, it's like once you've been uh, treated in such ways, um, as long as you focus on unconditionally, unconditionally loving yourself and everyone and seeing everyone as one, you can then become empowered by this. So I just want to thank you for watching the video and uh, feel free to leave your comments below and don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, and like. Have a very infinitely abundant day.